Okay, uh, we ran into a little bit of, uh, a, not a problem, but um, as you can see up here, it pretty much it says if um, I need a data update of 3.61 uh, or later. So what I have to do is go to um, us.playstation.com, the official website, go down, And you'll see at the bottom, um, PS3 system update uh, 3.161. Uh, so you click that. So uh, system software um, update right here. And you're going to go down. And you're going to go to, and you're going to go to download now. Now, you're going to go down, you're going to go down, and it's going to give you um, how to update it using your PC. You remember the, the backup hard drive that we did? What we have to do is go into the, the system, um, go into the, the file itself. And we're going to create a PS3. Um, we're going to create a PS3 folder, which is actually this folder. But under this, actually, we're going to create another one. Since this, since this um, already has our PS3 uh, folder on here from the earlier backup, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder. All right, now you can see my Chrome is actually downloading the file right now. So I'm gonna come back after the download is complete. Okay, um, the download is complete. Now, most most of the time in um, in Windows, every time you download something, it's always gonna be in the downloads folder. Like as you see right there, downloads. So, so you have to take this file you see it the ps3 update folder and put it in the update folder on your external hard drives now what we're going to do is disconnect the external hard drive all you got to do is go down here go down right here and you see this little check mark the check mark is going to just click that wait and it says okay eject free agent go which is our external hard drive that's what you're going to do now we can safely remove it now what we're going to do is take out oops sorry is take out our external hard drive which we did and install it and our PS3. So what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to press the the PS uh, PS button right here in the middle so we can restart the system. Okay, now now it restarted and it says connect the controller using the USB cable and then press the PS button, which we're going to do. Okay, the system software cannot run correctly. So, what we have to do is says connect storage media that contains the data version 3.61 or later, and then uh, press the start and select button at the same time. Okay, let's cross our fingers and see if this works. Okay, it worked. It worked. So I'm I'm pressing the start and select button for five seconds. Okay, it's formatted. Okay, so I'm gonna come back. Okay, now it's gonna restart after um, it formatted. It's gonna restart automatically. Now, uh, the PS3 system software update version three. Press, press uh, the PS button using the wireless controller. Use the wireless controller as it says. So press the PSN button. Okay, 
Check it for update data, please wait. Alrighty. Now we have a user agreement, blah blah blah. Just go over. Just accept it. Just accept it. If you want to read it, read it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> accept it. Okay, we accept all that. So we gotta press the start button now to get the system update. Okay, so it restarted again. Um, the download took about uh, probably less than uh, 10 minutes, 10 15 minutes. Alright. Alright, now it's telling us to collect, um, to, to um, excuse me, connect. The PS3 controller to the USB cable. That's what we're going to do. Alrighty. So, we're back on. So, if you want to check to see if you do have... You, you do have um, the right... Uh, if it is installed, all you got to do is go to System Settings and go to system information and you see there go our new hard drive right there system so where we're going to go is going to go to system settings okay where is it at oh we're going to go to system settings and go to go to backup utility and we're going to click restore don't click backup it's going to backup but what we're going to do is go to restore okay so it's going to tell me that we're going to it says do you want to restore data that has been backed up before restoring all the data on the hard disk will be deleted and we're going to click yes and they recognize the USB go drive <sighs> okay they they found uh, it worked actually. So you gotta select the backup data, which is that one. All right, he says it says, "Are you sure you want to restore?" Yes. Uh, the system will restart during the restore operation. Do not turn off the system. That's fine. We say yes. Just wow, that was quick. All right, now it's restoring. I thought that was it. <laughs> that we're not even close. So, it is restoring. Um, I'm gonna come back to you after the restoration is to complete. All right, so the rest restoration, uh, restore uh, is re completed. Everything is looks like it restored perfectly. Let me check. Uh, let me check. Uh, everything looks like. Everything is working fine. <laughs> All right. Let's check some saved uh, data. It looks like everything is there. Now, let's uh, test. Let's put a game in. See what happens. Okay, I'm playing Darksiders right now. Um, just seeing about our system save. So let's press start. See if our data saved correctly. See if it will read. And it looked like it works. This was my last save game. So if you have any questions, comments, any concerns, you can contact me at techgamesetc at gmail.com or go to my YouTube channel or just leave a comment if you have a question. Um, if you think you're nice on that PlayStation Network, since it's up, you can always uh, hit me up on that. My... Uh, Screen name is uh, Asian underscore boy underscore 100. I thank you for taking the time out to watch this video and you enjoy your day. Thanks a lot.